Hello my friends, uh, my name is Sergio and today I want a little bit talk and show you my most favorite lenses for kids portraits. Uh, we do a lot of family photo shoots and kids portraits and a lot of questions and comments uh, left under my videos is about lenses, what kind of lenses are mostly I using, uh, what I do, how I take pictures. So today I wanted to show you my lenses that I go for every family or kids photo shoot. So, my most favorite for kids portraits is a uh, 7200 lens, specifically for small kids that really active, really fast, and uh, or some kids that really scare of me. Like let's say they really scared, they want to be on the around dad and mom. So this is my lens to go all the time if I wanted to create some portraits. Uh, if I have really cooperative kids, I like to use this one, 85 1.2 lens. So this one lens I'm using for all portraits if the kid let me to do. I like the bokeh, I like how to create background. One the kids is not letting me to do, this is the next lens. This is my saving lens for the kids that did not cooperate with me. So this lens will let me to keep the distance between kids and they will not gonna be that much scared of the person they don't know. <laughs> and uh, let's do some portraits with this lens and with this lens. I have model, that's gonna be my beautiful son, uh, Mark. He's gonna be do some modeling. Let's do, let's take pictures. Yes, we're gonna take some pictures, so. We're gonna start with the 7200 and then we're gonna use 1.2. And the second thing, I like 1.2 uh, taking pictures when the light completely going down and then really low light. So I'm switching right away to the 1.2. This is actually my lens that I shoot 70% most of my portraits, my most favorite, especially families. This one is another toady and this is my two lenses all the time. I have always in my backpack for family photo shoots. Uh, I have some questions. Which lens, if I have to choose only one lens, which one I will choose for family portraits? Definitely 85 millimeter. I still can create any portrait with this lens, but this one led me to work with the kids that not cooperate with me at all. All right, Mark, you're gonna go sit right here right now. Okay. I like this spot with these interesting logs. So you're gonna be sitting here. My light coming from that side, here's the sun. I'm gonna create nice highlight on the right side. This is gonna be shadow. And that's why I uh, put some logs right here to kind of give the touch because my light coming from here gives like a 3D look. All right, let's do use this one. If I'm shooting this one lens, 70 to 200, I'm always trying to shoot at complete zoom a 200 millimeter. This is provides me and gives me beautiful compression and more creamy background. So which is we're gonna be trying to get him. So I'm gonna be shooting at 2.8 f-stop. Actually, this is gonna be maximum f-stop or the lowest stop that I can go, 2.8. But by zooming, compression, I can still reach beautiful and rich background. Okay, let's do it. Now I have to step that way. All right, so let's take pictures. So I have to back it up far away a little bit. Yeah, I'm keeping some distance. Okay, and let's take first picture right here. One, two, three. And we're snapping some pictures right here. So I'm shooting right now at 125, shutter speed 2.8, ISO 800. Yes, and do, and my maximum zoom right now is 200 millimeter, so I'm shooting at 200 millimeter. Got some shots, I got some portraits. Yep, this is it, we made the portrait. And that's how it looks like. It looks beautiful and really nice. I'm gonna do one more from uh, Shrake forward. Really close up portrait, I do like some. Waiting for the nice moment. With the kids, sometimes you have to be patient. Let them do whatever they want. Maybe sometimes give some sound. Uh-oh, you lose it? You lose it, right? Okay, got it. That's a cute one. This is it. And here's some of my portraits with 7200 millimeter. And 
Another, and this is the, actually the main thing that I shoot with this lens, is actually let the kid to do whatever the kid they wanna, and I will keep the distance, so whenever the kid is actually not really cooperate. So, uh, well, Marcus cooperate for me because it's my son, uh, but sometimes people are, or mom and dad brings not cooperative kid. This is the only lens you can do something good. I keep the distance and let's take some portraits. If you want to do some active, active portraits of the kid doing whatever he wants, just let him walk or something doing. He just can take some back portraits. Looks really nice. He's like looking back at me. Nice. Uh, he's going to do something fun. Uh, right now it's getting darker. So my ISO is going to 1000. The F-stop is 2.8 and shutter speed 50. Okay, I'm going to need to change a little bit angle. So sometimes I have to move myself. So let's do a few more portraits with this lens. Yeah, here it is, beautiful moment. Here it is, nice moments here. Waiting for the moment. Interesting one. It's a patient, patient. Still, when you shoot a 200 millimeter, it creates beautiful background for the portraits as well. Yes, we got it some moments. This is it. Okay, let's switch the lens and go to the next location. Okay, here's the portraits. And here's what we got. Give me five. Give me five. Yeah. Right. Ah. Ooh. He's strong. Let's go. It's getting dark already, and. 7200 millimeter lens is good up to this point, but after the suns go behind the horizon, now this is the best lens, and we're gonna be using this now. After sunset, when you have blue hour. This is called blue hour, and I really like taking pictures of the blue hours because it creates the most softest light ever. This lens, the best can capture this light with 1.2 f-stop, let's go. Run, 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 run. Da -da -da. <laughs> go, 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 go. Woo. All right, we changed location because uh, in forest we're losing the light the quickest, and we have uh, here's the field, and the light gonna be coming from that side. And we're gonna be using this background behind a mark. And we're gonna be using 85 Canon RF 85 1.2 lens for portraits. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him to do whatever he like it. I'm just gonna snap some clothes, some portraits. And with this lens, you have to be really close. You cannot be shooting from far away if you wanna do some portraits. But it's creates beautiful portraits, I like it. So we're gonna put 1.2 to blur out completely. Background creates super creamy look and just capturing some moments. Yeah, and here's the portraits. Beautiful, I just got the portrait. Okay, and second thing, we're gonna be, we're gonna put him to sitting, all right. And let's do the last portrait, like he's sitting by the tree looking at the field. All right, we're taking last portrait here. Here it is, here it is. Got it. Nice. And this is the what 85 creates.
And this is it guys, this is my two favorite lenses for the kids and as well for the family. So uh, leave a comment what you think, uh, send me some, I mean, write me your questions. We're gonna try to answer your questions in the next video. So, and my friends, make sure you like and comment. This is gonna tell me that you sure wanna waiting for my videos and you wanna learn from me. So the more you're gonna be commenting, the more you're gonna leave likes, the more I'm gonna have willing to create uh, awesome videos or educational videos for you guys. So make sure you comment and like. See you at the next video. Bye.